welcome in this video we'll see how to sense a key press and activate a relay so in, this is the circuit for uh, this program so we have interfaced a key over here to pin rb0 uh, we have connected one pull up resistor and uh, one led so when we press this key this led will be on to indicate that key is pressed and uh, we have interfaced a relay through this transistor to the pin re1 of microcontroller and when this relay turns on this circuit completes and this bulb will be turned on so this is the uh, output of this uh, particular circuit so now we'll see how to write the program for this uh, particular circuit So I have already written the program for the uh, circuit. So I have used the template file, uh, which is available in the microchip folder. Then from this main label, you can start writing your program. So in this program, we have to configure the port B pin as input pin, since a key is connected to that particular pin. And the relay is connected to RE1 pin. So that pin must be configured as output pin. So to do that, we have tris register so tris register is, is used for setting the directions so here we have used bsf tris b comma 0 this means that rb0 pin will be configured as input pin and using this bcf uh, tris e comma 1 instruction the port e 1 pin will be configured as output pin okay. now uh, here we are going just going to check whether the key is pressed or not pressed using polling technique so in this technique we are just continuously going to monitor the port b 0 pin that is rb0 pin whether it is pressed or released so if the key is not pressed the default status of the pin will be one because a pull up resistor is connected to that particular pin so uh, when we press the uh, so when the key is not pressed the program will remain in this loop only and when the key is pressed it will come out of the loop it will skip this instruction and it will execute this instruction so uh, in this instruction we have turned on the transistor and hence the relay gets turned on so uh, we have used instruction bsf port e comma one uh, we have connected the relay to re1 pin that's why we have taken here one after that, uh, if the key is not released, then the program will remain in this loop only. So we have used instruction here as bit test file skip if set port B comma zero. So again, we have monitored here port B RB zero pin whether that key is released or not. If that is not released, it will remain in this loop. And if that key is released, then it will come out of the loop. It will skip this instruction and it will execute this instruction. So uh, using this instruction, the relay is turned off. So uh, using the BCF instruction, we can clear the port E RE1 pin and the relay will be turned off. And this we have put in an infinite loop. So whenever the key is pressed, the relay will be turned on and whenever the key is released, the relay is, will be turned off. So the same thing uh, we can do in Protease as well. So before that, we have to just build our program. And once we have built it, we can take the hex file in the uh, microcontroller in Protease. So for that, just double click on this. Go to this uh, program file and select the hex file that is generated and then click on OK and then click on run so once you click on run the program will start working and when the key is pressed the led red led is also turned on now i'll keep the key pressed so this led is turned on to indicate that key is pressed and you can see that the relay is activated as well as this bulb is glowing and now if i release the key then this led is off which will indicate that key is released as well as this relay is turned off and this bulb is also off so using this program we can sense the key and we can activate any peripheral using uh, this relay so the source code and the simulation uh, file link is available in the uh, description of this video thank you